What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with a very interesting development going on today, man. We got some interesting stuff going on. I just wanted to dive into it with you, break down everything, tell you the lore and the stories behind what we got going on today here, man. But if you guys, it's kind of crazy because there's so many different ways that you can interact with the WWE action figure community, and there's lots of great things going on in the community. I mean, this, this, this community as a whole is some of the most creative people that you will meet in the entire planet. Just a ton of great things, and I've said multiple times, my favorite part of our community and just wrestling action figures and just action figure collecting in general is there are so many creative people out there and I love the creative process of people just building stuff, making customs, kit bashing figures together, making creative displays, just making really awesome stuff that you look at and you go, damn, that's sick or dude, that's so cool or whatever the hell it is, man. But today, you know, with saying that, diving into the community itself, you know, not always is everyone batting a thousand, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can get scared. I've been scammed before and things of that nature, man. But today, we're diving into Facebook groups. I don't know if you guys are in Facebook groups, wrestling action figure groups. There's a lot out there, man. There are a lot of Facebook groups, and there's actually a really, uh, like, a lot of awesome Facebook groups that showcase a bunch of people's talents, customs. People sell things on there. People set up trades. They, you know, they ask for advice. They show off customs. There's full Facebook groups dedicated to customs and things of that nature, man. But today, I came across this post, and I thought it would be just something to talk about here on the channel, and I thought it was interesting. So, I want to get on here and jump on it, man. But anyways, in one of the groups that I'm in, this popped up on my feed. So this guy shares it, and he says, be on the lookout. This guy tried saying this was the new Kurt Angle Ultimate. Then when I called him out on it, he said, oops, I sent the wrong pic. Once I said I'll pass, he's gone ahead and deleted all the messages he sent me. And in the screenshot, he did have a screenshot of the messages, the figure itself, all these different things, man. So when you dive in there and you see what the messages look like, the guy responds and says, this is the guy that was trying to message the other guy. He says, hey, I got SKU for the Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition, willing to let go. And he sends a picture of a custom Kurt Angle right here, or this Kurt Angle that is up on your screen right now. And just addressing this first off, this is an amazing... Kurt Angle or Kurt Angle replica box right here. I don't know who made this custom, but it, it's a fantastic custom. I can tell it's like the Seth Rollins torso, the Rick Rude torso. You have that great Kurt Angle like SummerSlam basic head sculpt on there. You have some great championships, and that looks to be like Dan Turnquist's work right there, who is a magician at what he does, but he's got all these different championships in there. It looks like pretty much one of his indie gears or one of his gears he wore outside of WWE. I don't know if that's a TNA gear or an independent gear that Kurt Angle wore, but it looks great. The custom figure looks immaculate, but it does does seem to be in this Ultimate Edition box here. And then on the thing, you can kind of tell, I'm pretty sure at the top right there, I don't think that's a normal Kurt Angle box. It might be. I don't think it is, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure on the normal Kurt Angle box, it's supposed to have like a red bar and have like the Kurt is spaced out and it's got different things going on. This is a custom box. This person has made a custom box and I don't think it was, I'm pretty sure this custom figure was made to be put in this box as a display piece. I don't think that the customizer made this to, to fake or whatever. I think this guy I purchased the custom somewhere, whether it be eBay or maybe he commissioned it himself, and then tried to pass it off as a, a real Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition. And it's just funny, he says, I got the SKU code or the SKU number for the Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition willing to let go, and then he sends this. And maybe he did mean to send the regular Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition, man, but this is why it's important to know what you're buying, and I've done videos in the past about just being aware and being, you know, you gotta be steadfast, and you gotta be aware of what's out there, man. So do your research, don't, don't just jump at something, something's like, oh, this is really rare, this is custom one of one, you definitely need to cash in your money in the bank briefcase on this, and it's just a freaking, it's a Kurt Angle basic with a toupee, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be really, really careful about what you're doing when you're diving into these online sales and stuff like that. That's why you got to do your research. You need to, when you buy from people, man, you got to make sure that you check their sources, get a reference check on maybe their name or their photo or whatever the hell it is, especially in these Facebook groups, man. If you're buying something online, I know a lot of people do trades nowadays. They, they buy online and do all these different things. You got to do your research and make sure that everything is up to par when you are making these deals so that you don't, A, get scammed, B, you know, lose out on some great figures and stuff like that. So you definitely need to be aware of those things, man. But the guy saying that this was the new Kurt Angle. I mean, that's just, that's insane anyway, because you could easily just Google Kurt Angle Ultimate, and it would pop up there. And then, not to mention that these figures, this figure has like TNA championships. Like, there's zero WWE championships in this thing. And then, he, the guy did say that he's gone ahead and deleted all the messages. 
is. And he said that he said it was the wrong pick after he had already called him out. Like, hey, man, that's not a real Kurt Angle. And he's like, oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Now, I'll be honest with you. Again, this is a fantastic custom, but I'm willing to bet that it was probably going to be a case of, like, I, I just don't understand why you would even, why would you even lie about that unless you had something nefarious going on? You know what I mean? Some of the comments on this post were funny as well. I'm trying to see if I can find some of them. People are saying Ultimate Edition Perk Angle. That's the Rare Chase Perk Angle. Not gonna lie, that's badass. LOL Paper TNA Belt in there. I don't think it was a, I don't think there was a paper belt in there. Was there? There may have been a paper belt in there. Somebody said this is a custom sold on eBay. So I'm guessing the person, the person got it off of eBay and then tried to pass it off as a, a new exclusive Kurt Angle. Like people don't have Google and you can just find out if, you know, if he's gonna do, I don't know, man. I just, I just wanted to make this video as an educational thing where you just gotta be aware, man. Be aware of what you're purchasing, you know, like I've seen, how many times have you gotten on eBay and it be like rare figure or whatever, like one of one exclusive packaging error, don't call this person at 3 a.m. challenge, like all these different clickbaity titles and then you click on it and it's like a basic Undertaker in a Kane Ultimate Edition box and it's not an error, Bradley. Somebody went to the store, bought this and then tried to pass it off and it did a, it did a rigamaroo right there, man. They switched it at their house and then went back to Walmart and got their money back. They stole the figure and then put a shishy figure in there. That's exactly what happened. In this case, it's just completely custom. A custom box, custom figure. Figure looks immaculate. It looks amazing. I wish it was a real figure. I wish it was an exclusive Chase Perk Angle, Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition. Man, I would love to see that. And they used a much more appropriate torso. So whoever the customizer is did a fantastic job on the formula, the pieces, the box, everything about it, man, looks really, really good. So the customizer should be proud of the product, but I, I highly doubt they're proud of their custom project or their, you know, something they worked really hard on going into, you know, something like this where it seems like the person was trying to scam or it seems like, you know, they had something nefarious playing right there. So you hate to see that, you know, these, unfortunately, that is the, that is just sort of what exists in this space, you know, you know, anytime you're dealing with collectibles or things that people value, you know, you're going to end up with that, man. You know, you're not going to see this in the plastic fork community. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see this in the damn, you're going to see this in the action figure community. You see this all around, man, people scamming on shoes and trying to dupe people and things of that nature, man. So that's just the nature of the beast. So you just got to be careful, man. You got to go out there and you got to have your utility belt on, knowing what the hell's going on when you are buying online or buying from anybody. Hell, even meeting up with people online, man. Same thing. You're buying off Facebook Marketplace. You show up and it's nothing like, you know, you always bring someone with you, as they say. So just a lot of different things there, man. But I wanted to talk about this because I thought it was a good, it was just a good experience, man. I came across the thing and I said, you know what? I have some thoughts on this and I figured why not put it up to you guys, see what you guys think. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. And you know what I would love to know? I'd love to know some, some maybe some scam stories down in the comment section below. I'm sure somebody out there has a really crazy scam story or maybe just a ridiculous over-the-top thing that happened to them in the wrestling figure community or just action figures in general. It doesn't have to necessarily be wrestling figures, but in today's video, it, we were covering a wrestling action figure and things of that nature, man. But I would love to know all the things down in the comment section below, guys, what you guys think and all those things, man. But yeah, be careful out there, man. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below on the story that took place here today, man. But before we get out of here, huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Very, very close to the room tour, man. We're getting there day by day, chipping away at it. I do hope that the room tour is posted sometime on January 4th is what I'm going for. Barring something, you know, just some sort of delay, it would go up on Saturday. But I do believe that we're going to be able to get that up on the 4th. So hopefully that will be the case. That would be, what, Thursday? Yeah, hopefully Thursday will be the day, man. But that is what we're trying to do there, man. Should be great. Can't wait for it. Everything's going, you know, pretty smoothly. So hopefully that will be the case, man. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.